Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Happy last day before Easter break. Great to see all of you here today. Uh, hopefully, uh, we're able to enjoy some of that weather uh, yesterday, right up into the evening. Um, but even something calming about a little thunderstorm uh, at this time and, and very appropriate. Uh, kind of makes you pause and just appreciate the power and the awesomeness of it. Um, especially thunderstorms like that. We don't, we don't typically get many of those, um, especially two nights ago with those boomers. Um, you know, those are, are very reminiscent for me of a time when we would head to uh, the Northwoods in Wisconsin uh, to visit my grandma and grandpa. Um, you know, up there you get storms like that pretty regularly. Not too much around here. Um, so just a little, little moment catching me off guard there to try to connect me. Um, the other night, so I appreciated that. So let's go ahead and get our day started uh, in prayer today. Uh, begin with our morning routine. First, just want to give you an opportunity if you have uh, any time for some uh, special intentions. Um, definitely would like to keep a lot of the families, uh, you know, that are directly affected by, um, you know, this virus, uh, the Mount Carmel community, uh, you know, alumni faculty, staff, parents, students, supporters, friends, uh, you know, and also uh, our other Catholic high schools in, in the archdiocese, um, even for me here in Indiana, I like to keep them in our prayers. <clears throat> so any family um, that unfortunately will not be gathered around the um, Easter table with all of us to celebrate uh, Jesus's resurrection. I'd like to pray for them and for any intentions you hold in your hearts. So as we would begin with prayer here in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord God, we tremble to think that it was one of Jesus's own friends who betrayed him, one who sat by him, who broke bread with him. Give us strength, we pray, to walk faithfully with Jesus even when the road we walk is rocky, even when the message of the cross seems like foolishness, and even when we feel betrayed. You, Lord God, are always faithful. We stumble, we become lost, but you are steady for sure. Give us the grace to endure our troubles and reveal to us the glory of your kingdom through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now if you would join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A couple of announcements here for us. Again, good morning, everybody. Good to see you. Um, as a reminder, we are off uh, for spring break after today. So for Holy Thursday through Sunday and April 19th, we are taking our spring break. We will welcome everybody back to e-learning on Monday, April 20th. Um, we hope at that time we'll have some information to pass along about our uh, school future and what that looks like for us. Um, you know, still not sure. And just as a reminder, uh, how we sort of determine our situation is, is through the guidance of the archdiocese. Um, we are in weekly meetings with the administration, our superintendent, our assistant superintendent, uh, and all of the uh, archdiocese uh, presidents and principals. Um, so we have a weekly Tuesday meeting, and there we kind of hash out all these different events, get perspective on it, um, talk about what other schools are doing for the rest of the year, um, how to handle a lot of the, the situations that we now um, have on our plates. So you know, we, the question was asked yesterday about returning, and uh, it will have to be made after the uh, Archdiocese hears from, <clears throat> excuse me, after the Archdiocese hears from uh, the governor's office in conjunction with the CDC and the Illinois Department of Public Health. Uh, so we're still um, a couple days out on that. Um, you know, our goal is to return as soon as possible. Uh, however, we know that that may just not be feasible. Uh, and we're going to be okay with that. 
we have some plans in place and, and um, maybe some tweaks that we'll make to our own system here, but not many. Um, and we return its business as usual. So still more to come on that. Um, and we're still very hopeful uh, that May 1st is, is still obtainable. Um, had some questions come in from families in Indiana, like, hey, what do I do? You know, even if, if you're open, uh, but we're not, and we're still supposed to shelter in place and that we'll, we'll provide some clear direction for families on that. Um, you know, the, the health and safety of everybody first and foremost is always priority number one. So we're gonna take care of that first. Okay, so just um, stay tuned with us. Keep your, your best interest of your families at, at heart. Um, and we'll, we'll get through this. We're, we're not sure what it's gonna look like. We're, we're still in conversations as well as other schools about you know, those end of the year events, when to move them, especially our fundraisers. You know, we've, we've had questions about fight night and everything. And, you know, we know how crucial and how critical those are um, to the fabric of Mount Carmel. And we're going to try to have as many as we can, whenever we can, um, in, in, in a particular manner in which we can, meaning, uh, you know, locations may have to move, formats may need to change, but we're still going to kind of have these, these events here. So uh, we'll keep going on that. Uh, just a story, if you haven't picked up on it, uh, just a, a story that I'm incredibly proud um, for our faculty and staff, especially in our, our science and STEM departments there, Mr. Collier, Mr. Rogers, and Mr. Surchis, um, who just jumped up, stepped up, met a need, um, and started to turn our idle 3D printers into uh, masks, as you can see down there, um, to be used. Uh, just an incredible, uplifting story about, you know, people dedicating uh, their time and talents uh, when they can and, and, you know, volunteering and stepping up and answering the call. Um, and, and people all over the place are doing it. You know, the neighbors around here are making masks just for people so that we're not using the medical grade supplies and, you know, letting us know where as crazy as this may sound, where toilet paper <laughs> might be on sale for bulk and things. So um, just again, another opportunity for a community to rise up, uh, come together and meet this need. Um, and, and you know kind of take this journey again as one caravan so that that's that's huge my hats off to all three of you um great job and i know uh, mrs palomato reached out to us um and through the help of mr Filippo, we're gonna uh, make the straps for the back of the respirators for on um, the nursing staff at christ hospital so um stay tuned for more information on that um and again thank you gentlemen for doing that um incredibly important for us uh and also just you know if, if you haven't Take a look at some of the senior spotlights that we're doing and our student spotlights on social media. Uh, you know, we, we've been releasing some of the college acceptance stuff now, um, but we're taking a deeper look at our, our class, um, especially of seniors and, and just, you know, not only an incredibly intelligent group, but, you know, just some of the best people and, and really talented young men that are really going to go off and make this world something special. Um, so it's, it's, you know, incredible that, they are going to have to endure this experience too, but in the long run, it's going to make them better just as it will make us better. And, uh, you know, it's one challenge and one hurdle that they'll be able to overcome. So take a look at those if you haven't already. Just some, some happy Easter greetings here um, and, and blessings to you and your family. Uh, enjoy all your time off, parents, students, um, possibly younger siblings that, you know, may have a little bit of a break coming up, even if it is, you know, truncated after the, the spring break and whatever the case may be, just enjoy it. Um, trying to enjoy every day here, obviously, and trying to make that work um, outside of the normal working, you know, around the clock, just as everyone is, but um, enjoying time together with people that we're normally wishing we had more time to spend with. So um, hopefully you get an opportunity to do that. Uh, rest up, as I mentioned yesterday, fill your cup, uh, recharge your batteries, whatever that looks like. Uh, you know, a run, a workout, a book, um, you know, sitting outside, enjoying the sun, uh, you know, get outside to do something where and whenever you can. And, you know, coming into this week, it's always a, a reality check for me, as I talked about with our faith, but um, really celebrate it, understand what it is, maybe the lack of distraction and the lack of, um, you know, sort of controlled chaos that family uh, holidays can bring. Maybe it's an opportunity for us to really keep the focus on uh, what this week is and, and what Easter Sunday is all about and, and what it means for us individually. Um, not only as Christians and Catholics, but just as people. 
um, you know, celebrate the journey that you had during this Lent um, and then the sacrifices that you made or maybe the additions that you made to your life to make it better, make someone else's life better. Um, you know, celebrate that journey. If you didn't, if it didn't work, then have an honest conversation with yourself. Why? Um, you know, take some self-assessment and figure out what you can do. You know, there's always the next 40 days that we can try to, you know, do some of that. And some of my sacrifices haven't always gone as well during Lent, but um, they have afterwards. Maybe it's the lack of the pressure. I'm not sure. Like a New Year's resolution, right? So just kind of do that if you can and, and just make sure to take time to pray, smile, um, and really enjoy this time together with whoever it may be, even if it is in this Zoom format of Easter dinner or a happy hour or whatever the case may be. Um, just enjoy it. So we will see you all again on April 20th. Um, take care. Enjoy yourselves. Um, you guys are all missed. Everybody, each and every one of you. And uh, I wish you nothing but the best over your spring break here. So finish strong today. Uh, keep your eye on the prize. Get those assignments turned in, gentlemen. And then uh, enjoy the rest of your spring break. Take care, everybody.